Hey everybody, and welcome to another G-Power 3.1 tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about how to do uh, MANOVA, uh, doing a MANOVA a priori power analysis to determine sample size. Okay, so we're going to jump into G-Power here. First, we need to change our test family to F-Test because MANOVA, multi multivariate analysis of variance. So we're going to get Fs from that. Uh, previously on the channel, I've done ANOVAs and I've done linear regression, but here we are going to focus on MANOVA. And so the first one that I want to go over is global effects. So this is the effects uh, that uh, we are going to do on a new set of data that is going to be the composite of the dependent variables, two or more dependent variables. We're going to get the linear composite, linear combination of those. That's the global effect. So if we're excited about that and that's what we're really interested in, of course, we would do univariate tests as well. But if we're interested in those global effects, then we are going to... Um, use this particular statistical test to tell us how many people we need for our MANOVA. Now, we are going to be um, looking for the effect size of F squared, which goes with, uh, this is Cohen's F squared, which is going to go, which has gone with um, uh, the other ANOVAs, uh, a priori sample, uh, sample size power analyses that we've done on the channel. But then we see this V here. Hmm, this is a V. Now, let's see if they have any conventions for us. Doesn't look like they do. And that's okay. So you see here we have uh, an F squared value of 0.0625. Now this is the default value, um, number of groups and number of response variables. The two number of groups is the uh, number of groups in your independent variable. So we have at least one and response variables is two. Now global effects is really going to give you, you only have one independent variable and at least two DVs. Okay, one independent variable, two or more groups and um, at least two DVs. So we're going to do the determine on this one. And um, here's the values that we 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 either put over here versus over, you know, back and forth, back and forth. They're the same. OK, um, and here we have the really the most difficult thing about this is Pali's V and Pali's V is Pali's trace. Pali's trace comes out of many outputs in statistical programs. So SPSS gives you Pali's trace. Uh, Jamovi, Jasp, they both give you Pali's trace. Uh, it's not the value for a uh, MANOVA that I've used before for the global uh, for the global effects, uh, for the MANOVA effects, basically, the multivariate effects. Uh, I usually use Wilkes Lambda, but Pali's V is what we're going to go with here. That's what they are using in GPower. So here we have, by default, this is 0.4. This, by the way, um, only the 3 and the 2 really carry over from here. This 0.4 has nothing to do with this 0.065, so don't worry about that. Um, because if I left this all right here, you can see that if I calculate the effect size, we end up with a 0.25, not 0.0625. So, uh, but we can also close the transfer to main window. I don't uh, close effect size drawer. There we go. Uh, we are going to leave our alpha error probability at 0.05 as per convention. Our power, as you can kind of barely see, we're going to we're going to create uh, 0.8. We're going to calculate power at 0.8. And then again, we have three groups in my IV and two DVs. And so if I click on calculate here, it's going to tell us how many people we need. 27. And we're going to end up with a Pali V of 0.4 with an actual power of 0.81, which isn't bad, right? Critical F is 256 to determine we're going to have 4 and 48 because we're going to have two response variables. Sample size 27, 27 times 2 um, is going to be 54, right? And that 54 and then um, number of groups, three groups of nine measured on two different measurements for our MANOVA. So that's how you do the global effects test. Now, let's look at some of these other ones, okay? MANOVA, special effects and interactions. The only other addition here is um, we have number of predictors versus number of groups, okay? So number of, this is where we get into um, so factorial MANOVAs here, right? So number of predictors, three. I'm gonna go ahead and um, make that two. And number of groups is six. So that means there are three levels per predictor is what I'm assuming that means. So number the, the fact that there are six groups means that this is between subjects between subjects groups and so six total groups means that there are three levels because i have two independent variables two or three plus three equals six still we're going to keep two response variables okay again uh the only way that we are going to determine this is if we use Pali's v or Pali's trace number of predictors two number of response variables two right that's what we've done here if i change this to three it'll go back to three or transfer to the main window yeah see calculate and transfer to main window boom bada bing bada boom but we're going to use two because I would prefer that. That is a giant effect size. Um, maybe we won't do that. Maybe we'll go back to three. <laughs> uh, calculate and transfer to window still 0.25. So number of predictors, three. Response variables, two. Uh, let's say that there are three response variables. How about that? Still, still, so that has to do with that. Okay, let's say there are four predictors. Number of groups is four. No, that's, that doesn't work. Eight. All right, let's, let's go with that one. Let's go with apply V of 0.4. Number of predictors, four. Uh, number of groups is six. I don't know where that number came from. Uh, I thought I changed that to eight. Yeah, there we go. 
two levels per group. Okay, and number three response variables. Let's let's do it. Although let's change this to 0 0.80 and calculate. And that means our total sample size needs to be 42. So 42 into uh, four different groups. It doesn't work out to even groups, but that's okay. Uh, we get a ply of 0.4, and our actual power is about 0.81. That's not bad. Measured three different times, or measured on three different variables, so that's what we would do there. Uh, repeated measures uh, and focusing on the between factors. So if we have a MANOVA with repeated measures or, or a mixed model between factors, we're going to put that in here. So number of groups is two, number of measurements is four. Right, so how many times we are going to be measuring this person. We're going to use the effect size that we have previously. As you can see, this is not F squared. This is just F. Let's see if they've put in the convention size here. No, they haven't. I kind of wish they have. This should be a little bit more. Uh, and then correlation among, uh, among repeated measures. We'll do 0 0.60. How about that? And then if we calculate that. So this is the correlation between the repeated measures. So each additional, so measurement time one uh, correlated with time two. What's the correlation there? Of course, if you're talking about the same person, these should be high numbers, right? Above 0.5, uh, because if you're measuring the same person over and over and over again, they shouldn't change. They shouldn't change. So we're saying that across measurements here, we are going to uh, see a correlation of the measures of uh, the repeated measures 0.6. So if we calculate that, you can see that we need 90 people for this particular poli, and then we're going to get a poli of 0.8 because 0.25 is actually a small f, not the same f squared that we have been working with. It's a little bit of a smaller effect size here, so we need more people, and we end up with a smaller poli. This is a poli of 0.1, but we can also determine this. We can effect size from, from means or effect size from variances, and then you can go back to my previous ANOVA tutorial on, on GPower. I'll put it up in the uh, in the thing here in the top right top right corner, little little card there that you can click on if you want to to find out me going over this one now um the repeated measures within factors and the repeated measures within and between are going to be similar to again the anova's uh, the anova uh, calculation of sample size again you need to put in the correlation among repeated measures if we do if we leave everything the same and we put in 0 0.6 here Point, uh, 0.25, 0 0.8, 0 0.05, 246, 0 0.6, excuse me, and we calculate, you can see that if we're focused on the repeated measures aspect of this, that we end up with a different outcome. We only need 22 people for this particular one because this is the, this is the effect size of the within factor. And even though it's a small effect, because we're talking about this as the within factor effect size, we don't need as many people to achieve that effect. Now, if you can, again, that's the difference between between and within factors here. Between, we need more people to detect the same effect than uh, than a within factor or within subjects factor okay and then again you can do the within between interaction and here is the effect size using polize v if you want to you can effect size from mean and covariance or you can do effect size from criterion the criterion is um polize v or polize trace as we have been discussing right so number of groups and number of times that they are measured that's what repetitions is number of times they are measured so if we do all of this we click and transfer to main window that's a giant effect so even if we're reducing our power here um and we leave everything here. Oh, we only need 21 people. <laughs> 21 people for this sample here because this is a within, within between interaction and we end up with a 0.4 plus rate. So this is number of groups and number of measurements. This four corresponds to repetitions here to this four. Okay. So that's how many times they get measured and then we have two different groups and so we're looking at the interaction. That's We're saying that the effect size of this interaction is 0.81 or 0.82 Cohen's F, which is large and in charge. So those are all the MANOVA so multivariate analysis of variance, G power, power analyses tests. If you like this video, consider leaving a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing for more of these kinds of tutorials. Thank you for watching.